welcome to another story about what happened to me in school remember the last story i spoke to you about the duck and how the teacher gave homework for all of us to make a figurine of a duck and how i made a duck that made the teacher happy this is also a story like that but it concerns some homework one day the teacher said remember her name mrs madhya varanam that was her name she said i want all of you to go home and work with your father or mother or your uncle or your sister and i would like you to draw a picture of a dog and it doesn't have to be in color you can use a pencil draw a dog and bring it to school tomorrow can you do that and we all said yes teacher and off we went after school and i rushed home excited and i said to mom 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 i need to draw a dog can you help me draw a dog so she said yes why not but what kind of dog would you like to draw and i said i don't know look at this dog which belongs to our neighbor it's always sleeping near our house can we draw that it's brown in color with a white nose and brown eyes with drooping ears and she said well i suppose i could do that i tell you what why don't you speak to appa and ask him whether he would like to help you because i'm a little busy cooking and so my father was working he was writing he was a goldsmith he used to make rings like this but on that day he wasn't at his workshop he was at home writing and i said to him dad my teacher asked me to draw a dog can you help me and he said certainly so i said can i show you my book and we could draw it he said okay how would you like to draw the dog the dog running or the dog sitting on its haunches and looking at you or the dog leaping i said i don't know how to draw these things because it sounds very difficult and he said all right i think what we will do is we will draw a dog standing so he took me to the door and there was a neighbor dog and he said to the dog come and he told my mother bring some food my mother brought some food and when she said come the dog rose and came and mother put the plate of food there and was heating and my dad said look at this dog it's now eating and it's standing now remember this picture in your head and come with me now bring your book and stand in front of this dog and draw it and so we drew some pictures or rather i drew some pictures i made the head too big or the ears too long and the body too small or the legs too thick and they were all like sticks standing straight and that's it it doesn't matter keep drawing keep drawing keep drawing and i made many mistakes i drew a dog and my dad looked at it and he said oh it's very good i thought it looked ugly and he said no no it looks very good you must keep drawing if you decide to draw a dog you can't get good at it immediately you must keep drawing every day and i said okay dad and i tried to do two or three kinds of positions of the dog standing this way that way the other way it all looked very unsatisfactory to me i took it to school the next day and the teacher saw it and i looked at the other drawings of a dog done by my friends some had drawn the dog that was sleeping in their house some had drawn dogs running and playing with the ball and so on and the teacher looked at my picture and she said oh it looks pretty good as good as all the other people you must keep trying and then i came back home and told my dad look dad it was quite a success he said i see i tell you what after lunch come and sit with me and i'll draw a dog for you and i said why he said well i used to draw dogs in those days i used to make 
little figurines in metal of dog for customers and we used to draw them. I'll draw one for you now and uh, you can keep it in your book. So he took a very sharp pencil and he began to draw something very tiny. I said, what's that? He said, that's a front paw. I said, why are you drawing the paw? Why are you not drawing the whole face? He said, one thing at a time, son. And then he made some rough lines, some wavy lines. And I said, what is, what is this? What is that? Oh, that's the back. Oh, this is the tail. But it doesn't look like a tail to me. He said, I know. First, you must draw an outline. Then you must draw the feet. Then you must draw the ears. Then you must draw the mouth and the nose. Then you must draw the whiskers. I said, what whiskers? He said, dogs have whiskers. You have to draw whiskers. Then you have to look at their claws. You have to draw their claws. And this took about two hours or three hours. I don't know. By the time he was finished, it was time to have dinner. And there was this resplendent little dog with a long arched body and thin legs. And it had long ears. It had a long, narrow face. And he had drawn it sideways. And it looked like the most beautiful dog I had ever seen. And he said to me, would you like to have it? I said, yeah, but it looks so beautiful. And he said, never mind, you can have it. But because it was drawn on a tracing paper, it was easy to put it into my book. And I took it to school with me. One day when we were studying, the teacher had to look at my book and she came across this drawing and she said, what's this? I said, this is a picture of a dog that my father had drawn. She said, but it's beautiful. Is he an artist? I said, no, ma'am, he's a goldsmith. She said, goodness, this is amazing. And she took it and she went to the other classes and she showed this picture that my dad had drawn and she spoke to her teachers about it. She gave it back to me and she said, you must treasure this. You must put it in your book. And I said, okay. When I came back home, I told my dad about it. I said, dad, the teacher suddenly discovered your drawing in my book. And she showed it to all the other classes. He said, I see. He smiled like this. Mm -hmm. That's all right then. Go and play. Never claimed any credit for it. And that was it. And that was 55 years ago. I kept it in my book and as I grew up, it got lost along the way. Last year, I was in New Zealand before the MCO. My daughter lives in New Zealand with my grandchildren. And I walked past a shop. I looked up, I stopped. And my wife, Rema Mala, asked me, what are you looking at? I said, it's a picture of a dog. She said, I know. As a dog. I said, this is exactly how my father had drawn it. And there was a name of the shop. It was S-A-C-O-O-R. Sakur Brothers. So I went in and I asked the manager, is that the logo of this shop? And he said, yes, it is. It's a greyhound. It's a hunting dog, very popular among the British. And it was widely trained and used to hunt in India. And then it all came back to me. This drawing my father had done of this greyhound. It is as fresh in my mind as if it happened yesterday. I hope you enjoyed this story about my father who drew this picture. My father's name is Mr. Kasinathan, V.R.K. Kasinathan, and he was a great artist, but he never showed his drawings to anybody, certainly not to his children. And most of his drawings were about jewelry and rings and designs for rings. And he passed away in the year 1979. He was 66 years of age. I want to say thank you to my dad, Mr. Kasinathan. 
I hope you enjoyed this story. I'll see you again tomorrow with another story. Good night and goodbye.